Hey everyone. So there was a lot of drama that unfolded last night on Twitter, on YouTube. There's a whole bunch going on off of one sentence of a tweet that Cardi B put out because she was having a back and forth with someone that works or used to work for Nicki Minaj. So the sad thing about all of this is that Jennifer Huff has to once again relive what she went through, explain in her story. It's not fair at this point. It's not right that she has to endure something just because her abuser is married to a celebrity. So everything, it all started last night with Cardi B and this person that used to work for Nikki that was locked up. He just recently got out a few days ago. He was a stylist for her or a hairstylist, something like that. He was for Nikki. And Cardi was going back and forth with him. And he mentioned, he brought up Offset. And you know how Cardi gets about Offset. Um, so she responded. And this is what she said. You can read the tweet. I'm just reading the last line because she said, he was making fun of the fact that Offset cheated on Cardi. So Cardi was just saying to him, okay, I'd rather him cheat on me than assault women. That's, that's, what, she, that's what she said. And she ended the tweet with saying, in all caps, let's not talk about husbands now. So after she put that tweet out, everything just went downhill from there. You know the barbs, they had to go and say this and say that. And now it's like they felt away because it's like they knew what she meant by that tweet because we know Nikki's husband is a registered sex offender and all in what happened, he's on house arrest currently because he failed to register as a sex offender once he moved to California and now he's on house arrest. And it's just, listen, it is what it is. It's the truth though. What Cardi said is the truth. So that happened. And today, it, it really started last night um, when they started per, um, posting this resurfaced video that is edited. But this is a, a snapshot of the post. And it says, footage of Jennifer Huff recanting sexual assault accusations against Kenneth Petty surfaces. Then they have justice for the petties trends on Twitter. So they had this hashtag trending on Twitter, justice for the petties. Like this man is innocent. Okay. So now you have Nikki's crazy, deranged, unstable fans talking about that this woman, Jennifer Huff, was lying. Because in the, the video, she's talking to someone. And she said this when she went on the reel already. This is nothing new. First of all, it's an old clip and it's an edited clip because she was forced to retract her statement. So they're playing part of the video of the audio where she's like that she had to recant her statement. But it's more to that story. She didn't just recant her statement because she was lying. Her life was being threatened. She was being, she was, her life was being threatened. She was scared. This is why that happened. This woman is not lying. For people to sit and say to someone that something that happened to them over 20 years ago didn't happen. This happened when this man wasn't dating Nikki. They were not together. He's been a registered sex offender for 20 years. He just chose to not register once he got with Nikki thinking he's living his celebrity life. Now he don't have to do it. That's not Jennifer's fault. That's his fault. Him being on house arrest has nothing to do with her. This is something he has to live with for the rest of his life. So for her to be attacked and be told that this didn't happen to her, she's lying. Can you imagine how she feels? This is a woman who is tired of dealing with this for 
dealing with this, living with this. Can you imagine being a regular woman or teenager that she was at the time to have this happen to you? And the guy that did it to you ends up marrying the biggest rap star or biggest celebrity, whether rap star, actor, whoever, biggest celebrity, and they have a fan base that terrorizes people on a daily basis? It's pathetic and it's sick. It's sick to do that to someone. So today on Nosy Whole Live, and I'm going to try to add the link to the video, the live that she did today on this video, if you want to watch the full. It's a clip, though. This is a friend of Kenneth's that I believe he's no longer friends with him. But he came on the live, as well as Jennifer. Jennifer was on the live. She came on the live today. She explained herself once again. She is tired. She was sad. She can't take this anymore. She wants to live her life. She does not want to be attacked and told that she's lying about something that happened to her. That's what you guys got to understand. I don't care about this music shit. I don't care about who your favorite is. You can't do this to somebody. This is, it's uncalled for. It's inhumane to treat somebody like this. That's already down and out and it's hard to handle. She's a regular woman trying to live her life. So whoever brought, whoever resurfaced that, resurfaced that clip is, is, is just like, who, 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 who's responsible for this? So I'm going to play the clip right now. And this is her friend. Well, not her friend. I'm sorry. This is Kenneth's ex-friend. He is admitting once again, because Nosy has spoken to him before. She's interviewed Jennifer Huff plenty of times. He says in the clip that I'm about to play, he says that he was sent to not torture, but to tell Jennifer to recant her statement. He was sent to bully her and to scare her into recanting her statement before she actually had to go to court. She explains, once things, sometimes when abuse allegations happen, whether you want to, if you want to take back the accusations or not, once the DA gets their hands on it, the state is nothing you can do. Even if you say, oh, we got back together and, you know, it's forget it, it's no forget it. So this is one of those situations where she couldn't recant her statement. It was out of her hands. And he's explaining that he was wrong for bullying her and scaring her, but he admits to to being one of the guys that did it when this actually happened 20 years ago. So just take a look at this video, this this clip. And like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can add the link to this live at the end of this video. Before you go to jail for it. And I said, okay. okay. So this is him. Wow. Wow. So so she's not lying lying about being being threatened. I was young. I was young. And I apologize to her for, for doing, doing, doing so, so, but I but was one of the kids that, that was threatening her. I was a, I was I was a, a 14 year old kid, kid running behind, running behind my, my friend, friend who I thought who I was, was uh, a stand-up, a stand-up guy, guy who's, who's literally, literally trying, trying to cover up what has what been has done in the past. You topped out, you pleaded guilty to something. Now let it go. Let this woman live her life. You know what I mean? Every nasty guy we live this over. over. Oh, because oh, because oh, you phone before you go to jail, Corey. And I said, okay. Wow. So she's not lying about being. You heard what he said. Trying to cover up. She has to relive this. He was 14 when he was threatening her and scaring her into recanting her statement. And he mentioned that at that time, Kenneth was locked up making sure that He was already locked up for something else. And he's trying to make sure that she recants this story so that he doesn't catch that charge, which he still ended up catching. So this is not fair to do this to this woman. So um, Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked, he posted a message that he had between um, Jennifer's lawyer and himself. So I believe he texted him and then he's like, 
the lawyer tells him in court, we'll call you once I leave. Jason's like, okay, do you still rep Jennifer? And he says, yes, I do. The video clips online are old, heavily edited clips between Jennifer and Black. Nikki's team should post the entire conversation and not just snippets. We are not worried. In fact, the Queen's DA is in the process of compiling over 200 pages of documents stemming from the 1994-95 rape hearing and conviction which we will use in our civil case against Kenneth. So do you hear that? If anything, Nikki's fans just made it worse. Their the attack that they put forcing people to post on blogs, an edited version to make people bully her even more and tell her she's lying. They just made the whole situation worse. All because what? All because of that one line Cardi put in her tweet. All because the, of the let's not talk about husbands now. That one line started this whole nonsense that I'm sure Nikki is tired of being brought up because she wants her husband seen in a different light. Unfortunately, he can't because that's what happens when you're a registered sex offender. That's what happens. So Jennifer posted from her Instagram just a couple of hours ago. And this is what made me do this video because at first I wasn't um, going to get into it because it was a lot. But once I saw her make the statement, I'm like, you know what? This justice has to be served. Leave this woman alone. This is sad and it's not, it's not right that an abuse victim has to relive and be bullied and threatened online by some young fans that don't know any better and think it's cute. So this is what she said. She said, and I, I'm not, I cropped out her, her username because I don't want people following her, leaving comments, doing all of the crazy stuff. So it says, she said, I've tried to move on with my life, but every time I remi I'm reminded of my painful past that I still struggle to deal with privately, publicly. I never wanted to go public. I never wanted to have a, to discuss these painful memories with the world. I was forced into that because of lies that were being told about me and my story. My story has never changed, but the constant manipulation by the media is what continues to cause confusion. Even when it was claimed that I was a white woman falsely accusing a black man of a crime, I remained silent until I began to be contacted by individuals who had the audacity to want me to recant my story to help my abuser with his current legal issues. I was 16 years old when I was violated with a knife. Even then, opening up about what happened to me was putting me and my family in danger. As a result of the threats that followed my foster family encouraged me to attempt to drop the charges in court despite my personal pain and feelings. I've stated this on The Real and countless other interviews on other platforms. This is the same thing that I was opening up about in this quote unquote resurfaced clip. I just want to be left alone. I don't talk to anyone. I'm tired of getting harassed. I don't talk to blogs and I damn sure can't manipulate the media the way that these people are. Victim shaming and blaming is never okay. Sometimes I wonder if 16 year old me should have never said anything because it seems over 20 years later, it still caused me nothing but pain. I pray that if you all or anyone you love have ever found themselves in my shoes, that your compassion and support would be much different regardless of who your abuser decides to associate themselves with. This is when she was on the reel with her lawyer. She shouldn't have to be putting out a statement because Nikki's fans are lunatics. I'm talking about the barbs, not people that just like music for music and not sit here and just stand someone to the point where they feel like they hear anything negative, even if it's truthful, anything negative regarding her, they go ape shit. This doesn't, it's, it's, it's insanity at this point and it needs to stop. It's not funny. It's not cute. And this woman has to sit here now and be told her story's a lie because someone edited a video and sent it to blogs last night to get Nikki's fans on her. Nikki just got a number one record for the first time, solo, for the first time in her whole damn career. Her fans should be happy, 
streaming her music, but instead they're watching Cardi's every move, worried about something like this that they shouldn't even be worried about. They can't even celebrate Nikki properly because they bring hate and trauma to the internet. That's what they bring. Every single day, her fans are saying something, trying to correct somebody, acting as if it's nothing negative that Nikki does. Or I mean, it's ridiculous. It, it doesn't. It doesn't even make sense right now. Nikki's about to be forty years old. She is not a young newcomer in the game. She should have way more mature fans than what the hell she has. Not these kids being bullies on the internet. With this video. You can leave a comment, but I'm making sure I approve them before they get put on my page. Because if any Barb thinks that they're gonna tell me something different or tell me this woman's lying, that comment's not going on my page. And I don't do this for my videos. I'm new at this, but I, what I'm not gonna be doing is looking at a bunch of stupid comments from young kids that don't know no better and think they're gonna bully their way into making somebody believe their stupid views. I'm not doing it. This is why I didn't want to touch on this topic, but I am. This is my YouTube channel. I can post whatever content I want on my YouTube channel. So you feel free, all the adults out there, all the adults, feel free to leave a comment. But any Barb thinking that they're gonna sit here and run comments down on my page and tell me I'm this and tell me I'm that, that's not flying with this video. So please don't even waste your time. I wanted to talk about this because it's awful that Jennifer Huff has to go through this. And I hope she gets the justice. Whatever her lawyers, her lawyers coming up with, all they did was added fuel to the fire. No one was even talking about this, bringing a situation up. I thought it was put to bed. I thought this woman was off living her life and they want to rehash something. It's not benefit in their fave at all. They should have never done it. They should have, Cardi was talking to someone, that was their exchange. It had nothing to do with Jennifer. So guys, I had to get that video out. Please leave a comment if you're an adult. If you're an adult, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.